metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. Get a single night's rest here. Uh, not I again. I may as well go back to being nocturnal this because this is ridiculous. Every night this happens. If one person makes some early bird joke, I'm going to lose it. Oh, what's wrong? The alarms are blaring. I must tell you something. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this is important. Are we being, uh, audited? Nah. It has to do with my particle accelerator engine. I've been developing it to fly faster. Faster than anything in the universe. I want to go the speed of light. Oh, I hate to break this to you, Pin, but traveling at the speed of light is impossible. Our universe just has some insurmountable laws that we can't change, and the speed of light is one of them. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. It all seems so hopeless. Good thing I'm a genius! Ooh, okay. I thought, why not just change the rules? Why can't we change them? Make light even faster? Just think. No limits. So, I made this! About an hour ago, I started to run some tests. Unfortunately, it didn't work the way I had anticipated. My machine has thrown us into a parallel universe. A para what? You woke us for this? Why would you mess with our universe? Level with me. Is this another one of your poorly timed jokes again? <sighs> no. This isn't a parallel universe. Everything is exactly the same as it was. It does appear that way. That's why I'm not sure anymore. Phenomenal stuff. Oh, phenomenal danger. What if the world that you dropped us into is one that's hostile to us? Wherever we are, we can't stay here. That's the problem. When I push the lever, we go back. Unless we are in our world now. Then when I push the lever, we go straight to the parallel world instead and it reverses. So we have to be absolutely sure first. I pull this down. We switch wherever we are. See? No! <laughs> 
Wow! Wow. What should we do? But how can we know? Are we in a parallel world now? What's different? All the rules seem the same. Solids are solid. Liquids are liquid. <sighs> I wish I knew some way to tell. It could be something so small that we never even noticed. I've got it! We can check the simplest laws of physics that we remember and see if they ring true to what we know. If the basics are the same, we're probably in our very same world. Fantastic! Where do we start? So gravity works the same, it would seem. Oh, Carlin, are you okay? I've been better. Did that help? I think we should look at a little thing called Pascal's Law. Uh, what's that? Whose law? It's about the force of pressure in gases and liquids. Pascal's Law goes like this. A change in pressure at any point in an enclosed fluid at rest is transmitted undiminished to all points in the fluid. <sighs> well, that's kind of hard to understand, right? Think of it this way. If you make multiple holes in a tank of water, the speed of the water that comes out will be the same out of every hole. That's because the pressure is the same. If you inflate a balloon, Pascal's law says the exact same thing. When the air goes into the balloon, it goes in all directions equally. That's why balloons are round. If Pascal's law didn't work and the pressure was uneven, we'd end up with some pretty weird balloon shapes. Actually, a lot of other things would look weird, too. We can also see this law at work when we put moving water into a container. Wherever the water goes, it has to have the same pressure. So even if the containers look different, the water level stays the same. That's how this thing works. This is called a hydraulic lift. It uses this law and the pressure of water to be able to lift things that are super heavy. The heavy thing goes on the wider part, and the lighter force can be applied to the thinner section of water. Thanks, Pascal's Law. So we need a hydraulic lift and an elephant, and several hundred gallons of water, and we'll be able to test if we're in our world. Um, couldn't we just inflate an, um, balloon? Hmm. Sure, if you want to take the easy way out, I suppose. Incredible! The balloon inflates equally in all directions! Pascal's Law's right! It's round, so this proves that so far the laws of physics are the same. What are you guys up to? Ooh! Is it someone's birthday? Good job! I don't know this game, but can I play the next round? <gasps> All right, I'm leaving. You guys in your science club. Go, we're busy. Hey. It seems to me that we need to run some more experiments. <gasps> we can try Bernoulli's Law. <sighs> Bernoulli's law says the pressure inside of a moving liquid or gas will reduce as its speed increases. Yeah, let's explain that a little better. Don't let it give you a headache. If you take a hair dryer and you put a ping pong ball into the stream of hot air, it won't fall out towards the side. This is because the higher pressure outside the stream doesn't let it fall out. The air that's moving faster, since it's coming out of a dryer, has less pressure than the air that's staying still. This very same concept is what allows airplanes to fly. Looking good, Pin. Wings are built in a curved shape so that the air under the wings goes slower. The air above has to move faster. This generates lift, and the plane can fly. Behold! Bernoulli's law is still real! Friends, I think we may be safe! That's a pretty cool magic trick! Ah! Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Oh. <laughs> cool stuff!
stuff, guys. But now you can watch my magic trick. All the laws we've been able to test so far have worked a little too well. I think I'm done testing gravity. Yes, but there's just one left. It's called Archimedes' Law, and it has to do with the theory of displacement. Let's get to work. Eh? Nope, I'm tapping out. I've had enough displaced today. According to the tale, Archimedes stepped into a completely full bathtub. Some water splashed over the side because he filled up the space. He yelled, Eureka! The thing he figured out was this. An object that enters a space full of water or gas will experience the same force that the liquid or gas has. As a result, sometimes in water you can float or just make a mess. To see Archimedes' law in action, we need to put a spring scale in some water. Check it out. When you put the scale in the water, some water gets displaced. And also, the weight is now lighter because it's being held up by the water. Gases work in the exact same way. Balloons are able to float in the air, and ships are able to stay afloat on water because of Archimedes' law. All of these laws of physics work together every single day. So does this mean I can fly too if the air is heavy enough? Uh, no? Uh, okay, never mind. Fascinating! The weight has decreased! This proves Archimedes' law is in effect! We are in our own world! <laughs> Wonderful! <Yes. laughs> well done! <laughs> Bravo! Anyway... I present my magic! <laughs> ah, all right! It's great, right? Pull the leather pin! Yeah, great. Now try it again. Crash, why? Yeah! Look, everybody, I found the Earth! Phenomenal stuff! Cool! What's next, guys? <laughs>